Jurak is up with Masked in Light. I am the call of the reason all of you have got it. If you want me, you will find me fighting against you. He and I never seem to agree on one thing. And we've been at war from the dawn of times before the birds could sing praise the Almighty. I'm the one thing you always portray in public. Yet, you need a thousand of mankind to cover me before any tragedy could unfold. I'm guessing by now you have suggestions of my description. Deception, dishonest, lies, and all the other names you paint my face with. But if you remember, I was born fearfully yet embraced by mankind together. You and I have faith intertwined, changing the course of history and faith. Forged from the heart of Satan. I was the very first lesson he taught him, but enough with me. Today isn't about me. Let me introduce you to my son, the prophet of light and dark. He is a mixed race of opposing entities. How possible you may ask. You see, he was carefully crafted. Highly skilled he is and acts of his own principles. His performances are exquisite. He blurs the line between divine devotion and self ambition. His performances, not acts of genuine enlightenment, but elaborate displays designed to captivate and deceive. He came to turn the gospel to just stories of man. He created the business of church ministries with a sincerity of spiritual connection gives way to a calculated exploitation of the devout. Your money is his. Don't think much. When a snake hears, you listened. He taught doctrines and lessons that wastes the Christian life, claiming allegiance to Christ. He came to you as a follower of God, transformed into a Lord and then a God. He came to solve mysteries in the name of God Almighty, but knew him not. He is an agent of the fallacies of Satan. He named himself man of God, but does not know love. Even when he does, he manipulates to fill his desires and ego. He is the false prophet. He scars the truth and tells his audience that there is no heaven or hell, and that is just the end of it all. He quotes verses that resemble the scriptures to defend his deception. See, he will get you every time because he knows your ears are itching for his next meal. You delight in his lies as much as he delights in telling them. He knows you plead guilty because your faith is openly fractured. Exposed to the field he breathes and left at the mercy of spiritual and the crosses. Sometimes I wonder how he managed to obtain these great heights. He raised the bar higher, but don't ask and blame him for creating a beautiful fetish. He knew he was fishing all along, but he ignored the signs. Even when the signs are placed between your nose, you wouldn't smell. You can't because you have stopped discernment. You have no intimacy with God himself, so every sweet boy sends butterflies to your stomach. You clouded your mind with how great the seemingly man of God is when you should have been how great God is. You shredded your heart with words you wanted to hear, not what the Bible says. Speaking of that, I know it's been long since you opened the instruction manual of life. How can you use a product to its full potential when you neglect its manual? Don't just read, understand, meditate, and pray. That way you don't become a prey, you become the predator in this battle. So ladies and gentlemen, before I leave my stage, know that there are false prophets living among us. And don't say I didn't warn you when you fall in the trap of a false prophet. Thank you.